What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We're going to be checking out Seeking Evil, the Wendigo, today. Ducking is a good idea to stay hidden. Well, thank you for telling me on the title screen. Sounds good to me. Let's play the game and see what it's got going on. That doesn't sound like a positive noise. Apparently, I've got an onk. Ew, there's dead people. I need to find a way out of this place. Yes, we do. We need to find a way out, like, right now. So that turns my lighter on and off, so each hand is controlled by one or another thing. Dude, that is a serious pile of dead dude. That is, like, a real quantity of dead dude, and they've, they've made them all eunuchs. That's not very kind. Set the door on fire. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's bounce. Setting things on fire in the first five seconds of the game. I can get down with that. I love lighting shit on fire. Lighting things on fire has been a real pastime of mine throughout the course of my life. So we can run with shift. What's around this way? Is there anything? Oh, there's a dead guy over here. What's up, dead guy? You almost made it, but you took a wrong turn, huh? Wendigo done gotcha. Oh, uh, we can jump with space. Okay. Nine totems should lift the curse. So burning nine totems. Okay, I see what they mean. So I can grab things with one hand and not with the other. What's on my foot right now? There's like a belt buckle stuck to me. Apparently I have a belt buckle. What is that? Oh shit, son. Does my lighter stay... Oh, it's the things that are on my belt. Okay, I see what's up. So I can reach down and I can grab things off my belt if I need to. Can I put the... So let's say that... Okay. Not much time before everything goes dark. I think I'm looking for totems or something. We gotta burn some things. What are these over here? Is like some antlery things? Uh, what are... What totems am I looking at right now? Hopefully... I really hope this Ankh does something. If it doesn't have any latent abilities that run off giant forest creatures that want to murder me, I'm gonna be very upset about all this. What's the point in carrying it around, you know? I mean, it's badass to look at or whatever. Oh... Shit. What the hell was that noise? Yeah, turn off the light. Turn off the light. We gotta bail. We gotta bail. I'm gonna crouch. I don't know what that is. Oh shit, son. I can scan? Okay, so it allows me to scan the area. Let's send out some shockwaves. Figure out what's going on here. We got this. I think we can live through this. I mean, this is a terrible idea. We're holding on to ancient artifacts, hoping that that saves us. Does it scan for the Wendigo, too? Is that a totem right there? Oh, dude, please tell me that's a... Shit! Oh, that scared me so much, dude. Why are there giant 30-foot flies on my face? Go away. I don't like you. I can't see, though, right now, which is a problem. Let me grab my lighter. Oh, I don't like this one tiny bit, dude. This is the worst. All right, turn off the light. Turn off the light. We got this. I'm not going to be afraid. I fear no darkness. There's nothing out here that can have me. There's nothing here that can take me. So there's a torch right there. As far as totems are concerned, though, I haven't seen anything so far. I'm not going to fuck with the torch right now just because it said that, like, picking stuff up will get me into trouble. I'm going to run for it, and let's just look for what we're looking for here. What the shit is that? Hiding, hiding. It doesn't know where I am. Go away. That's right, creepy red light thing. You a punk. Walk away with the rest of your family. Your punk mama, your punk daddy, your punk grandma, your punk kids. Uh-huh. Run away. You don't want to mess with the light of the onk, onk. I was going to honk it twice, but it's got to cool down. It won't let me honk twice. It won't let me honk twice. So I'm looking for something out here in the darkness. I mean, they almost got me right there. I already ditched my torch, so basically walking around in the dark is the best I can do for right now. Uh... Can it see my lighter? I wonder. Like, can I light the things on fire with just my lighter? Do I have to hold it down, maybe? I've got to be careful. 
Alright, we'll put that away. There's another light source over there. But, uh, there's something coming for us right now. I'm not sure I'm okay with what's happening right now. But standing up and sprinting was not the answer. It was the wrong answer. I mean, if we were on Jeopardy, we would have been like, um, I don't know. What is te testicular torsion? And Alec would have been like, that's definitely not what I'm talking about. What is this thing right here? Is that a totem? Light that shit on fire. Do it, bro. Get it done. Oh, I don't think it's happy. Oh, shit, son. Apparently it found me through a tree. I thought I had line of sight, but I was wrong. I killed a totem, though. I killed a totem. Oh, that's what the Wendigo is. Jesus. So did that count as a totem? Oh, I burned a totem. Pretty badass, although my efficiency is pretty... We're going to do this again. Uh -uh, absolutely not. We're going again. We got this covered. I'm going to try and be more rapido this time. I'm going to try and get it done. Loud noises and whatnot, bro. It's scary like that. All right. So we wake up in the Wendigo Cavern again. We're back inside the Wendigo Cavern, but this time we're armed with knowledge. We got fuel units this time. We know what we're going to do. We're going to light some planks on fire. We're going to light some totems on fire. We're going to do our thing. All right, so turn off the lighter for right now. Oh, shit. That Wendigo's got a problem, man. He's clutching too many bodies. You can't be keeping artifacts around like that. Okay, so I'm not going to take a torch this time around. It looks like somebody burned a totem right here. Cool. Okay, is that a flashlight in the middle of this pit thing? Please tell me that's a flashlight. Oh, dude, it is. All right, let me have that for instead of the onk. I'm going to have... Yeah, let me have the flashlight. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Now we got a flashlight this time around. I'm going to try and get some work done before darkness gets here, but I can't guarantee we're going to be lucky like that. So, totems, where you at? I'm going to try and visually identify the totems at first because it didn't seem like scanning helped out that much with what I was trying to do. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Ah, big-ass bugs. Get off of me right now, man. I need Clark. Clark, I needed you, and you weren't there. I needed you, and you weren't there, Clark. I tried so hard. All right, well, at least this time we've got, like, a light source. So that's a plus. Doesn't really cut through the dark the way that I want it to. All right, so the creature is here. Let me look down at my belt. I'm going to ditch the lighter. So I gotta find and burn nine totems. Let's hope that the creature doesn't see us. I'm crouched down. I'm in super secret stealth mode. Just scan real fast. Maybe like scanning will keep it from being on me. See, I thought he was gonna be like a big creature that was wandering around. It looks like he teleports to you. Using my aug. I don't see anything just yet. Nothing out and in here. It's okay, Nerd Castle. You gotta stick with me. You gotta stick with me. I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, my flashlight's down. Or it looks like it flickers at least sometimes. What is that right there? You see those lights? I saw a bunch of lights over here. What is that? Let's have a look. I wonder if the reeds make noises. Like it could find me that way. Oh shit, I am not enjoying myself in whatever vacation location this is. That's a blood stump. I don't think we need a blump right now. I mean, that's half of the word Blumpkin, and I definitely know we don't need one of those right now. Just seems degrading. It seems like a bit too much, you know what I mean? I've got to be quiet. Well, I'm trying, man, but you've got a totem that's like setting off dubstep noises every time I use it. Like, what did you think was going to happen, you know? Oh, shit, get low, get low. Oh, The Eye of Sauron was trying to find us, but I think we're good now. I think we're good now. We only made it a little upset. Ah, we got a totem over here. We got a totem. All right, so let's stay low. Let's not go through bushes because I think going through bushes sets off sound, which makes us look... I think it makes it look for us. All right, so I got to get my lighter... I got my lighter. All right. All 
All right, get down, get down. I've got to be careful. I think when he gives us the warning that we've got to be careful, it means that the eye is about to come out. We got to figure out where it's going to come from, and then we got to like get low. So what I'm going to do is give me uh, my onk back. There we go. Got my onk. So now I'm able to onk it on up. Yeah, look, it doesn't look like setting off the totem makes the thing upset. I think the game's got some kind of internal meter that measures how much noise you've made versus how much light you're using. Oh, it's coming from over there. It's coming from over there. Get low, get low. All right, we got this. We're going to win. Oh, it's looking at the totem we burned. Oh, shit, son. It knows. It knows what we're up to. It's trying to get us right now. All right. Stay low. Stay low till the voices go away. Just like mom said, just wait till the voices go away and go about your business. All right. So let's keep moving. I'm going to keep scanning, looking around. Trying to make sure that I've got some kind of strategy in motion here. I think it might know that we're around. I've got to be quiet. Okay, so let's hang out for a second. He just gave us the warning. I don't see anything else around. I'm like scanning everywhere that I can scan, but I don't see anything that's going to be uh, doing its thing. Let's just give it a minute. All right, so we'll get back on the move. I'm going to try and keep a tree close by no matter what I do. So that if I need to, I can get it to cover. Avoid walking on plants or anything. Walking on, walking on broken plants. That's the, that's the Wendigo's favorite song. I don't see anything around us so far. Oh shit, there it is, there it is. I think we're solid. I don't think it saw us. As long as I don't turn on a light or run or anything while it's looking for us, I think we're going to be okay. Alright, so let's peek it. There's something going on over there, but... I think it's on to me, though. I think it's on to me. We got like a half tree house over here. A real half-hearted effort if I've ever seen one. Not a half-farted effort. If you can fart tree houses, by all means, monetize that shit. You deserve it. Uh, We've moved a little bit more. Let's keep an eye out for the totems that we need. I don't see anything so far, but I don't know. Oh, I think the Wendigo just tried to get us, but luckily I was adjusting, like, sound settings or something. There's fire over there, so I know we don't want to be near that. Let's avoid crinkling any bushes right now. I think we might have something. We got one. We got a totem over here. What the fuck was that? Dude, there's things out here? Oh, dude, shut up. Do you see that thing? There's a thing moving in the bushes over there. I thought I heard footsteps. Oh my god. There is. There's a thing in the bushes. I thought the Wendigo was just that big red orb thing. Got to stay low. Oh my god. Is it still over there? It can't be. Either way, we got another totem. So I gotta, I gotta, there we go. Let's get the lighter. Set the totem on fire and let's book, let's book. Go, 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 go. Action Jackson time. All right, so we set another totem on fire. I'm gonna try and grab my onk real fast so that I can see again. We got a second totem though. Nice job everybody. High five. High fives for everyone. We got this thing. I 
I wonder if there's a map around somewhere that I can find. I think I can only use... I think I can only use the flashlight for so long before it starts to flicker and go out. Let's go ahead and light off a little something else over here, see if there's anything around. I'm way too visible over here. Okay, well I'll get low then, man. Why are you upset with me right now? I'm just trying to make good time while we're trying to burn these totems. You said you wanted to do it faster rather than, like, slower, so... Let's give it a second. I think the game has, like, an internal... Oh, shit. Nope, there he is. Not getting me. Fuck off, Wendigo. You can't have me. I'm not ready yet. There's so many things I haven't done. I've never ridden a roller coaster drunk. I've never taken a poop in a 76 bond of you. There's so many things. So many things, Wendigo. Oh shit, he's still looking for us. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, this is actually kind of addictive. It's a simple game. It's essentially a game of automated hide and seek if you really think about it. That bush scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it can try all of it. It can try all it wants, but I don't think it's going to. I've locked in on the mechanic now. Oh, that was loud. Oh, we gotta find another totem like right this second. It'd be cool if the creature got like more powerful the more totems you destroyed. Like it got new tricks and new things that it could play against you. Oh, that's... I don't hear movement. The fly scared me, though. That fly scared the hell out of me. Oh, Eye of Sauron. Not today. Not today. You better send the mouth because the eye is failing you. I think as long as there's no part of you in the red beam, something just moved over there. I don't know what it was, but I saw movement. I bet some of these totems are like super centralized. I've got to be quiet. Well, you can warn me about it all you want, but I mean... At the end of the, game, I, at the, end of the day, I'm here to spit game, bro. I'm here to spit game. Defeat this Wendigo. Oh. Okay, so there's bushes over here. Still no sight of anything that looks like a totem. I'm going to sneak through these bushes back here. But I think he's going to be on us pretty soon, so we got to be careful. I see nothing. I see absolutely nothing at the moment. Like, I'm trying to be proactive and get stuff done and play safe, but... Oh, he does not like that. Okay. Ah, he's over here. Okay. Back behind a tree. Back behind a tree. We got this. Hide me, my arboreal brother. Hide me! It's the only way we can both be safe and defeat the Wendigo. Wendigo! Wendigo. I wonder if the direction of the next totem is wherever he tries to scan you from. I've got to be careful. Man, why is it always a thunderstorm when this kind of shit happens? You ever notice that? It ain't never like a normal evening. I bet that's what it is. I bet he tries to scan you from whatever direction the uh, next totem is in. Let's go have a look. I don't see anything just yet, but I got a good feeling about this direction. I got a good, good feeling. Oh, 
Oh, there's like a bridge. Okay, I don't want to be near light sources, though. Light sources frankly terrify me. I don't want to be anywhere near The game's been telling me the entire time, stay away from light sources. Well, I feel like I should take that advice to heart. Flashlight seems to be getting it done. I would like it if the game gave you some kind of cue as to which direction you should be looking in. For the totems and whatnot. There's one. Over there, we got one. No. Wendigo, you go away right now. You better stop it with that loud talking. Wendigo, you better stop, or otherwise I will squeal pitifully. You don't want to hear a grown man do that. If I squeal pitifully, I'm going to blame you. Oh, shit! Was that not the... What the fuck was that? Oh, my God. I think I just shit a little. Oh, my good, sweet baby Jesus. I think I just pooped a little. Guys, I need new britches. I need new britches. And I need them, like, right now. I need new britches, and I need them, like, yesterday. Give me my lighter. I gotta, I gotta burn something to make myself feel better. There it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's bail. Oh, shit. Get low, get low. We got this. I think he does get new tricks. Oh, he's over here. Oh, hide. He's coming. Please leave me alone, evil devil man. I don't want to play. Oh, no. That was the... I thought I had my onk in my hand. Thought I had my onk in my hand. Let's not make that mistake again. Let's not make that mistake again. Oh, we got this. He's, like, over there and stuff. I wonder if the totems actually spawn. They're not on the map from the beginning. They actually show up each time you burn one of them. Another one randomly appears. Maybe that's how it works. And then you've got to track it down. Oh, dude, there's lightning storms now. I don't think I hear his footsteps, though. I think we're good. I think we're solid. Nerdcastle, hold my hand. Nerdcastle, hold my hand! I don't think he can see us. I think we're okay. Oh, tree, hold me. You dear, beautiful redwood bastard. Please protect me with your redwoody powers. Oh, no. Redwoody powers worked. Ha! That's what you get, you Wendigo jerk. I wasn't sure about the, like, I wasn't sure about the syllables right there. Wasn't sure about them. All right, let's get moving. Oh. Fuck me. That was a little unnerving. I think as long as I don't run through bushes or anything, I should be alright. It seems like the bushes affect your sound rating more than anything else. Here we go. We got this. In the... In the dark of the night, I will find totems, totems. In the dark of the night, good guys will rule. In the end, will be sweet when the burning's complete. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Bushes, you gotta protect me. Bushes, you gotta protect me. Don't let him get through. Oh, dear, beautiful, ivy, weird, stumpy plant. Protect me. Oh, I thought he had his dead bang right there. I thought we were done for, dude. I was caught out of cover, and I did not think it was gonna work out. Oh, there's like a little village over here. There's a totem. I see a totem. Alright, so let's go for it. I saw it. It's on the other side of this place. There it is. We got it. Oh, get down behind the fence. Get down behind the fence. He tried. He tried and he failed. Alright, so I'm going to give this like a five count and then we're going to burn this bastard. Here we go. 
One, two, three, four. Stay in cover, stay in cover, stay in cover. I just gotta keep something between me and him. Alright, so we got a tree now. We got a tree. Our greatest resource. We gotta learn what tricks he's gonna get now, because he already had that weird thing where he's able to pop up on our screen. Oh shit! Alright, we're dead. Uh yeah, my heart hurts. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna resist the urge of when to go here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a game right there. That is a game. Now, my name is Splattercat. It was great to have you here today. It's always my pleasure and privilege to show off indie games every single week to all of you. I felt like mixing in something a little bit scary. Seeking Evil, the Wendigo, is what we're playing around with here today. I will see you, uh, see you next time. If you want to see more, let me know down below. Be very vocal. Be vocal about it, all right? Bye, everybody.